Good afternoon, Nelson County families. This is Superintendent Wes Bradley with a Healthy at School planning update. Today's message will build upon our message from last Thursday, focused on three important questions. Where are we currently in navigating COVID-19 as a district? Are schools safe places to lead and learn? And how are we making decisions about current and future schedules? As you know, the uptick in cases across Nelson County has led to an increase to 46.3 cases per 100,000 people. Thus, on an average day in the last week, approximately 22 to 23 Nelson Countyans have reported a positive case. Our schools are a mirror of our community. We have approximately 5,000 community members across Nelson County schools daily. And on an average day over the past two weeks, we've reported approximately 1.5 cases daily. Clearly, this begs the question, are our schools safe places? As we continue to monitor conditions locally, we can confidently say that our schools are safe places when we follow the Healthy at School guidelines. As of today, when following these guidelines, we have not observed any spread within our schools. While we feel our schools are safe, a few of our schools have continued to feel the impact of the virus and quarantine to ensure a positive case does not spread further into our local community. As a reminder, one positive student or staff case can place a number of community members into a two-week quarantine period. While this is difficult to manage, it is necessary to keep our schools safe for all. As discussed previously, we continue to make decisions in the best long-term interest of our staff and students. We want our students in school and want to make decisions that allow for in-person learning to continue whenever we are both safe and stable as a community. Our fourth stage local data approach allows for our schools to be flexible based on local conditions. As a reminder, these stages include moving from stage two, our current hybrid model, to stage three or four, an alternate day or full virtual model. A fourth stage local data approach is a shift from past district-wide cancellations. And this week, you'll begin to see this model emerge as our two high schools will be moving into a virtual learning environment for the next week and a half beginning Wednesday. Currently, all other schools are in a hybrid learning in-person model. As a reminder, a local school shift may be made within 24 to 72 hours of notice based on the needs of that school. The intention would be that any decision would be for a two week period of time and would be reevaluated throughout the first seven days with the full intent to return to an in-person model when we can achieve both safety and stability. Investing in time to prepare our local teams for shifts is an important part of our success. Throughout the last three months, we've continued to make space for our teams and your family to make a healthy shift when possible. To this end, Monday, November 2nd is now a staff backpack day for all schools. We will make up this student learning day later this year. This day will be focused on communicating with families and planning for potential alternate day schedules and any necessary shifts in virtual learning. The week of November 2nd now consists of a backpack day on Monday, election day on Tuesday, with students returning to either virtual or in-person learning Wednesday through Friday based on their local school schedule. Specific local scheduling shifts will be communicated through text and one call messaging to your family, and district updates will be provided weekly on Thursdays. We recognize that you may have questions about an alternate day schedule, and we want to plan and communicate any potential shifts to you and your child by Monday, November 2nd. Remember, at this time, your school schedule remains the same unless you hear different from your local school. As a reminder, there are two ways your family can help our schools stay open. The first is to continue to social distance and wear masks whenever possible. The second is to ensure your child stays home if they experience any symptoms. Thank you for your partnership during this time. It takes us all working together to create a better future for our kids and our community.